So today we're going to be playing Precision Strike Scoytail, and I know that there's a dwarf elf hybrid going around right now, but I like to play my PS with a bit more utility, and for that reason, I think just going in with the Bountifuls, with the Vriet Officers and Mushy Truffle and all that allows me to add a few more pings here and there. A little bit more carryover so that we can play late game a little bit less interactive so what I like to do is take a lot of my spawning early game and then round three play a lot of specials and gourd and whatnot whereas what I've noticed with the other version is that you're you're doing a lot of that spawning and having a, a pretty big row state you know board state with the with the dwarves right in round three and you're padding them up and giving them armor and stuff like that so this one's much different again i'm not comparing it to that one i'm just saying that they're two different styles of play and this is what i like to do i like to have the gourd finisher play when i play a deck like this and i've been noticing that it's been working out quite well now there's one thing i want to address and it's Alyssa. so with Alyssa here i've been noticing some issues when i've been playing the games today so it's supposed to shuffle a special card from our grave to our deck if it was a bronze also shuffle an additional copy it's not working on bountiful harvest okay and i tried this in a couple games and it actually costed me a game so what i did as a placeholder is i took out Alyssa while i figure out what's going on with that bug and i put in knickers because honestly a thin doesn't hurt an alternative to that could be a lot of things right it could be a, a gaitan it could be a, a dunka it could be like a lot of stuff like that right um you can even we can't go for that cause it's not a unit but you see what i mean like there's definitely some good stuff right but i just decided to go with knickers because thinning just feels pretty comfortable here when we're looking to just play a short round three with a bunch of specials and gourd, right? So that's basically the idea behind the deck. We've got Oniromancy here to make sure that we pull the cards that we need. So this allows us to play any card from deck. We want to choose Oniro instead of something like a Royal Decree, just because there are specials, artifacts, and units that we want to play from deck. So we got to be able to make sure that we get everything we need, right? And... Um, it just makes sense. We play it twice because it has Echo, so we can get our Gord if we missed it late game. We can get a Playmaker like Venadane or Simlas early game if we need something to do, right? Round two, maybe we want to go for some carryover options. We could take Mushy Trouble. So that's kind of the way that you'd use Onero. Simlas is good for the thin. It's good for the carryover. What I've been doing with Simlas, though, with this deck is I've mainly been using it to take out the Bountiful Harvests. So play all copies of a Bronze Special from our deck. We can go fish for these and take that carryover in hand. Maybe we can take it into round three if we can. You know, like that's always a good idea. If we win round one, we can go and push round two, take carryover into round three. Never hurts. We can find cards off the Bountiful Harvest that can play into our strategy a little bit more of setting up a nice muzzle, um, setting up, you know, kills with leader and stuff like that. Oftentimes, I'm finding that I'm pulling the Vriid officers off the Bountiful Harvests, which gives it incredible value because these here bonded use both abilities of damage and boost so when these are bonded they play for seven points but we're just basically creating seven point ones off bountifuls and getting the hang buffs hand buffs off of it um you know it just it's crazy and with mushy truffle making sure that we have bonded out there really easy to get so i've been liking the way that that's been playing obviously pulling other things like a, a sorceress of doblethanic could be quite nice pulling out um the sage or the scribe is what they call it now um elven scribe could be quite nice right so a couple really good options here even farseer believe it or not is a pretty good pull at this deck because we have the minimum amount of units and we only have the one artifact so there's a good chance that we'll be pulling into something good there so we're getting good pulls with bountifuls right um alternatives would be the rebukes if we got to take down something tall and set up graveyard rebuke for the protector or we can obviously go into the waylays and just basically rattle off a couple waylays um you know to set up the venadane and get more value there with the simlas so that was kind of the idea when Alyssa was in the deck but there's nothing i can do um about it right now like you could technically do it still right but um 
it, it's working on other cards, just not the not the Bountifuls. That's the the main concern. And I like to have the flexibility. So, but Alyssa was good for like a muzzle or a second heat wave or something like that. So, again, I'll put both links up. But that's basically it. Protector just plays another copy of a nature card from Grave. So we've got a couple different ones, right? We've got Harvest, we've got Rebuke. There's always going to be a choice for us there. This is going to banish a unit or scenario. So Karathi just makes a lot of sense in this. Get rid of a 20, 30 point unit or just get rid of their artifact that could change the game drastically. I think Muzzle is perfect with a leader like this because we have the ability to really manipulate the points that the opponent's unit has. And we just set up the ideal Muzzle. I don't think any other leader suits it quite as nicely as this one does right so muzzles like a necessity here hengate sword was something that i was thinking about from a carryover perspective being able to you know store a unit inside of this card and get it later the reason why i didn't do this is because if i had to choose between um that and like Alyssa or that and like the venadane play it just feels like this because um basically that we're trying to set up a lot of stuff for round three right we're trying to get some carryover with harvest we're trying to set up good venadane we're trying to set up gourd we're trying to set up you know um mushy truffle make sure all our mulligans are good you know um this for five points in around like the first time around is a little bit slow for what i'd like to do with this deck that needs a little bit more tempo to begin with right so it didn't make the cut um and the Saber didn't make the cut either because we don't have a lot of movement stuff, so it's really easy for them to play around, right? So basically that, talked about Truffle and the Bonded stuff, right? Ring of Favor, it feels like one of those things that you should just keep in a deck right now, especially one that needs tempo. Um, this deck right here is really good on red coins, so if we're going second, we have the ability to really push our opponent and just kind of kill off whenever they play something. Now, Ring of Favor is one of those cards that really helps us out if we go first and we're on blue coin, right? Because a lot of people seem to be taking it out of their decks right now, and I'm surprised. Um, with a one provision nerf, it's not really enough for me to say take it out of every deck. Now, this will help us get out of a round that we're trapped in a lot of the times, but oftentimes too, if we're doing pretty well, we're sitting comfortably in the rounds, we'll just get that banished and we'll be able to pull a card which ultimately helps us get everything that we need to continue so i like it either way then a day and of course we get to recomp the hand a little bit which can help i think venadane's really nice to run with this leader ability for a couple reasons right so we get to put things back in the deck so we have ways that we can honestly or obviously brick simla so if we pull two bountifuls in hand when we wanted to play them or you know two of the waylays kind of thing right that could be a problem if we pull knickers or if we pull any of the sentinels that could be bad as well so we can recomp with this so that we're not playing bricks and that's kind of one of those things like don't underestimate this card it's good for that reason even if they lock it after it's still seven base power and uh, a reshuffle at the very least right and then if we do happen to be able to shuffle back the waylays, at least we have four that we could play with Simlast later. So quite cool. Gord's going to play for max value every single time, right? We've got echo cards in the deck. We've got cards that create cards. There's no reason why we shouldn't have the maximum 12 boost on it, plus the three base powers, 15, plus maybe a little bit of carryover from playing the Bountiful Harvests. So definitely want to have Gord. And we shouldn't miss Gord because this deck thins down to like three cards, right? Um, this takes out two. This takes out two. This naturally comes out of deck. The two thin from leader. So you can see like there's a lot that does that sort of thing. If we don't use favor, it's a thin, right? So keep that all in mind here. Um, got a couple little texts. I've got a spores to reset something very tall on the opponent's side of the playing field, I think. In the meta right now, this is often going to play above its provisions, so Spores isn't really a bad thing to have. Power is nice because we get to purify, go around a defender. We can um, essentially purify, maybe they lock the Venadane or they lock uh, the Pyrotech. We can purify those because they might be valuable to us. We can um, essentially purify something with resilience on their side of the playing field, right? So the list goes on with that. Squirrel's quite important because there's a lot of echo cards going around, particularly the busted um, Erendite, right? A lot of decks are built around this card and Golden Necker and Siri Nova and all that type of stuff, right? You've seen the trio um, too many times. Now, 
if this gets to like 10, 12 points and we're able to banish it from the opponent's grave, right, with the squirrel, that could be quite huge. Or we can prevent them from playing it maybe in a round two bleed because they're scared that we're going to banish it going into round three. It's also good, but at least we have an answer if they do decide to go and play it, right? So those are like my little texts. These have to be in there basically because the leader, we talked about the bond here. So that's basically it. I feel like pyrotechs are just kind of the last good card to round it out. There's not a lot that I'd want to put in that case um, as far as four provision bronzes go. I, this is a consideration here, but these aren't even that great when you don't have anything to sort of keep putting armor back on them, right? And everything else just doesn't make a lot of sense. The skirmishers won't really last here because we might get one armor, but then it's two to remove, which is kind of risky. So I feel like play this with Mahakam Forge or play this with a deck that's set up to give it armor for the turn it's sitting out there to make it work, right? But that's pretty much it, guys. Most of the games that I played with, uh, played today have been the same types of matchups. Like, um, there's been a lot of Fruits of Yizgith and there's been a lot of Vampires. I tried to get a little bit, little bit of a variety and um, at this point of recording this right now, I got four games. I'm gonna see if I can cram out another one with a different matchup because otherwise the video is gonna be kind of boring, right? But um, we'll get to it. If you guys enjoy the content though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also guys, we're pushing 500 members on my Discord community. If you guys wanna be part of the fastest growing Gwent Discord community, link is in the description below. You guys can join me. I have tons of really cool tabs related to Gwent and um, I really value your ideas there, right? If you want to have some sort of creative input, give me your two cents about what I should make or what I've made, then that would be a good place to let me know as well. But uh, for now, let's get into the games, guys. The quill is mightier than the sword. will not be heard. I just caught myself muted. <laughs> I think this game's gonna go pretty well. I was gonna say, uh, basically, uh, Venadane's coming down. This looks all good. We can get really good value from pretty much everything we've got, so. It's kind of the idea. Win round off this. And just go forward. I thought about putting Great Oak in this deck too, but it just doesn't fit. Another thing is that we're not always going to get fortunate enough to have this stick and this work. Because this plus leader is actually very good. They so just go and boost that, click that, and then we just try and remove that, don't we? Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think we take two... I think we just take one. And if they're trying to do the whole Erendite thing, it's not working out too well so far, right? Summoning circle, it's probably gonna be for a griffin, right? Yeah, it gets predictable. Flip here to keep them behind. The idea is obviously to try to deny Sabbath. So they'll have 9, 10, 11, 12 on front row. 
They're not doing too well for the pigs. Once they play ring, I think we can respond with ring. It's kind of annoying. I don't want to ping that. I mean, we could. It does get us the fin, but I can't remove it anyways. I could, well, I could take it down actually quite a bit. What if I just did that? Because, like, it's important for me to thin here. Let me just... You know what I mean? We play these... And they're just like three really inexpensive turns. They don't even have Sabbath. That's 22. I think I'm supposed to still just take out this one. One and two, um, they're going to have ring as well. It's just that two points a turn I'm kind of afraid of, right? Here, we'll do a little bit more effort here. We're still sitting on a pretty comfortable lead, right? So if they take ring, we can take ring. 244, 46, okay. Um, I think we just actually sink it out. They'll need ring to stay ahead. They play ring. We play ring. It would be crazy if they actually didn't even include it. But I, I definitely think they're sitting on it. We have to play it. So, moment of truth, I suppose. So they're running this without ring. I, maybe they took out ring for summoning circle? Well... Okay. Um, Aaronite's going to be bad, so I don't think I have to worry about that too much. And then we can just go and put that back. Okay. We've got so many good things left. I'm going to have to pass here and go into a little bit of a longer round, but it's not all bad here. So I need to keep card, right? We've got Heat Wave for the tallest thing. We need Simlast to not have bricks, right? I gotta pull, like, if I could pull a couple of these. You know, that was actually a really good round one. We actually won it off the bronzes. We don't care too much that we took leader, just because leader's kind of part of the early strat. Um, just to thin out deck and get what we need for later. Okay, bad, good, bad. <laughs> so we gotta get rid of that. So 
Squirrel and Peller. Probably gonna be Peller that goes. Heatwave or Gord. Wow. You know, normally it's not this bad for for pulls. So it's gonna be protector here. They played again, then I'll do muzzle. Okay, it might actually be heat wave. Let's just pull this first of all. Mm. We got one, two, three, four out of seven. So chances are this is the most points. And you know what? This is actually pretty good too. Okay, we miss. Hit that. And that's actually a muzzle if we need it. It's good six. I could do double muzzle. Because we've got we got this, we could Alyssa, and then we could take it again. That's not bad actually. Because we can muzzle out like a pig. Okay, I don't know. We'll try and deny Sabbath first. We'll figure it out. Um, is there anything that we want to dump? Probably the Gansian quickly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll take a squirrel soon, because I think that they're going to go succubus shortly. But they don't have any fives. They're all fours. Or incubus, rather. Yeah, their incubus is going to pull out a four, which is actually nothing. Uh, I wonder what they're thinking at this point. Okay, what about six? I'm gonna put... When move to the deck, banish self. Doesn't work like that. So muzzle. Imagine. Just, I'm so glad they didn't do that. Loose an ally by two. Loose an ally by six. Uh, 30 points. We plus six, them minus six. Or we take Gord for more. I mean, we, get, we keep our options open, don't we? I had a 12 point heat wave. I've got a 14 point gourd. I could have maybe played around an Osril. Oh, Erendite's not even that good here. We'll just play Gord. There we go. I don't think that this is going to be too bad, right? We've got vampires against... Well, actually we do co We go kind of wide, right? We'll see. We got a squirrel for the... You know, you know what I'm trying to say. That thing. <laughs> the, the flutter. Uh, purify for a defender. I think we can kick this.
It's too bad we didn't have Prism Pendant. Imagine Prism Pendant with the Flutters on our side, and then, you know, just wild. Okay. Let's just get the party started here. We'll do this whole thing. Pick a card to put back in the deck. Um, at this point, probably that, right? I'm feeling pretty good about putting Peller back just because it doesn't look like they have a defender. Otherwise, they might have would have might have would have played it. You know what I'm trying to say? They would have played it maybe first turn. Now you can just maybe carry round off these waylays. You get one, two, three, four. Wow, it's in the row. So we have to hope that we don't. That sucks. We gotta hope that we don't get unlucky with the. Um, place here, right? Okay, they got two engines out there. Um, cooldowns two, it's gonna be one. This is more points. I think I'm supposed to just bop bop it. Yeah. This is something we can work on, right? Now, if they have Gales, they can get rid of the Vendane, which is going to be really bad. And if they see the play, they don't see the play. Maybe they just don't have it in the deck. That's fine. Um, honestly, it just it feels right, you know? Here. I want to get out all these units early so that later is not good for them. It's like an awkward round. Um, two turns, we kill that. But we gotta play the waylay soon. Right? Because if I played these two... This dies. So it's it might even be worth just spilling over on this one so we get the points back with that. I just, uh, unless... No, we have how many on the back row? Three, six, seven. This will make it eight. I mean... We'll just fight for it. Like, I want to keep that going, or try to at least. Then we'll just go and play this here. Kill, boost, and then we'll just try and get another waylay out there. And we still got, you know, we can buff up the squirrel to the ceiling. Ring just keeps growing too. They get out of this round with, like, Oh, they just have to play for points. That's not ideal. They get out of this round with, like, Leader and maybe a Flutter. I, I don't think they have Flutters in hand. They would have probably played them by now, you know? Okay. Get rid of the million points that that's giving them. One, two, three. I just want to have it so that, you know, they can't pass on me. That's like the biggest concern I have. Oh, that would have been a nice card to have if they had uh, the flutter. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're all right. And then minus one more. Oh, minus two more. It's a tie. I would always just play down, though. Like, we would definitely... You know? Yeah. And then we'll just get rid of something here. Probably the Onero.
go into a little bit of a longer round and then just um, get rid of all my units. It's looking pretty good so far, though. One, go two. Gord's looking okay. Yeah, we need long round. Because short round's not very good for us. Um, they just slam down a huge Regis and win the game at that point. So, kind of sucks. Now they have Incubus 1 out of the way. I don't know if they're going to be running 2. They can't play Flutters unless they give me a Flutter. So they would have to play something like an Operator on a pass just so if they had another Incubus for round 3. And they do. Well. I still think that was something that you'd probably want to do in round three instead. So Gord's in hand. We'd pull the muzzle. I think Spores is going to play for a lot of points. I just don't want to get rid of Pyrotech and get something worse, you know? Like, we could brick this. I think I have to keep it the way it is. Really. Yeah, they'll play it right now. Okay. They're just making a heat wave better too. So we've got flutter kill, we've got flutter take. Like if they have one at seven, it kind of sucks, but if they have one at four off a of scope, it's really good. Oh, 11, 12. Is there any way we take it down in one turn without a heat wave? No, eh? You know, like, here's the thing. I don't ever click this and then heat wave it, right? Because that just wastes points. So I think I'm supposed to just heat wave it here. It actually makes them have to play something, really, that they don't want to do. Or give too much bleeding on this one to get another flutter going. See what I mean? Um, sim last couple bountifuls, right? Yeah, for sure. Veil's good. Boost an ally by one if you control an artifact. I wish. Now we just have to pray this stays out there. If they can't do five damage, we we just win off one card. Wow. We gotta start playing though, like some of these. I think we go another bountiful. Nice. And then we can boost it if we need to, but I don't think we need to. My goal is to try and get rid of this. I don't know how we're going to do it. It'll probably get to 10 power at the end of this turn, right? Whether it's an Alp or it's the other leader charge. If it's 10, I can push it back with making a bomb, maybe. And then take a muzzle on it, then they'll forfeit. It's just, they have to play beside it. So I'm hoping they just stick an Alp, an Alp beside it. Because I, I think that making a bomb... Oh, nice. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. 
Okay, well, there is spores, right? So we got five, it's the most. Kind of bummed out about it. Like, <laughs> I had the best idea. Uh, Gord's playing right now for 18 points and counting 19, 20, 21. So we should be good. There we go. That's a that's a good muzzle. I think we can just leave everything else, right? These will die, which is fine. And then we'll just play Gord and Boost. That's like the best rebuke we're gonna get ever. Yeah, I don't think there's any shot they win this. It like looks bad, but it's not really that bad. Oriana, yeah. Be alright. There we go. Alright, so we go first here against Imprisonment. Put that back, and then... We have to assume Ring's a possibility, right? I just don't want to keep too many techs in hand round one. A couple rebukes. You know, it's actually a pretty good hand. We pull these out. Yeah, we play a lot of just like, you know. Here, flip it just because I don't want to boost this if they might take Yen on it or something. I don't know what they're playing just yet. Take this now. Whenever, so that's four, that's four, that's elf in hand, it's one, it's horrible. That's not bad though. There, and Peller, I'm glad they actually both went on Peller, because, um, like, just the choices we had, because Peller's actually probably a card we want to have in this matchup in hand, right? This, not as much. Just uh, hit Simulas. Blightmaker is not enough information like there could be so many things i have a suspicion that it's like a nova deck right because they're going super crazy with the leader but also with the siri journey back they could just be trying to get uh, some achievements done Sixteen all, yeah, they're they're thinning out quite hard. Actually, I could take protector round one because I want to stuff as much carryover as I can, and then it'll actually proc this the same turn. If they use leader, it's one leader charge gone. If they don't, we get a lot of points. 
but if they do, I also have Peller options, right? If they don't have Nova in hand, I could always just purify it and then boost it by two. Actually, boosting by two is not enough. It'll do three damage, putting up to one, so... Yeah, if they take a leader, it's just over for that card. It's just when I see it, I want to take it. And usually they're not running Illusionist without Mushy Truffle, so... They boost that because I think they're taking that, right? It can spores it, but nah, they have Ring of Favor. It's obvious. 17, 27. We gotta decide if we want to back down here or just keep going. Um, I mean, this place for 7 points. So they gotta do 10. Well, there we go. That's good. That's good. Um, and then if we pass on them shortly, they can't take the ring. Which is actually fine. Bribery. Squirrel into what? My... My own Nero? That's alright. Okay, I think we go early ring because I think that they're going to go ring in response to our ring. So, we'll take, okay, what's ring on something that they don't want? They, they're not running Vincent, they're probably Nova. So, we'll just put it on a token, but we want to play around like a random haze. Maybe something like this. Yeah, they'll never take this card. don't think I take leader just yet. I'm going to wait and see what they do here. If they take it, we take a spores. We're good. point play up by 20 here's the thing if I pass on them here they lose it I think that we can just call the bluff and then they have to play golden necker and all that stuff unless they just don't have it right we would have seen the flip there right I guess if they play Yen or something like that, it keeps them back in it. But then they have to take something they don't want, which is good. There we go. Now, I don't know if that's really good. Because, like... They can put that back in deck, you know? They played down on that. kind of an awkward play. Yeah, we'll be alright. I think it just means that we don't weigh Gord too important. Yeah. We'll keep this. We'll dump that. Yeah, Gord can be just play whenever. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go and put this, like, banish this here. Erendite could be a problem, but... If I take three and do five, we get thin. At least we can hold a minute and then take away value from the Erendite. We'll bond these up too. They didn't put it. Because maybe they have Alyssa too.
I don't see why they wouldn't, right? A Sire and Alyssa. It's a good pair. And then they just play Golden Necker again and play the whole deck. Right? And then it doesn't matter if they're... Yeah, that's gotta be it. Eight here. We just purify that now. Take a truffle the next turn. Right? It's got to be the Purify. I don't know what we'd Heat Wave, though. And the Peller. Buggin'. If I'm able to get back last save and it means we can play Gord for whatever he's worth enough to be worried about it. The only issue is that we actually lost our Oniromancy and then they stuffed us with this and they're going to do another another deck push. So we might not actually draw it. Ah, Cantarella. Oh, okay. They're getting back a card here. If they keep playing though, we have to, we have to push it. So the idea is to go, like, I don't even care about truffle carryover at that point. Last city is just more important. So we'll take this, we'll damage boost, whatever, Erendite. Okay, that's great. Yeah, we're taking this here. We go damage. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Of course they have Surrender. Good. He must be playing a lot of Dwarves. Been seeing a lot more of that card. They cut ring though, which is surprising. Okay. Muzzle's good. Um, we want proactivity, but not like too much. Maybe we take actual, we get the last leader charge out of this. There's Gord, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Move up the two cards. We'll just take the rebuke if they lock this. I think it's still worth more to go. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll just take Cantarella. They played nothing. So if they lock this, then we just click this. If they don't lock this, we just click this. We just play this, I guess, right? They might even take Erendite here and lock that. Which, either way, I think it's still a win in that case. It's fine. We'll take a muzzle off that.
They've probably got Yennefer's Invocation and then something. Yeah, they, they Yen that. And we just, we just bin this, don't we? They'll leader that and then they'll play whatever they've got, but we've got 13 points on the gourd. This deck's actually very popular right now, so I'm glad we actually won the matchup. Alright, so next up here we got Vampires, and we go second. So, Red Coin, they have Curse Scroll, so we know what they're going to do right off the bat. Is go and try and get out that uh, Operator Flutter combo. So maybe we got to take some big measures round one to prevent that carryover for round two, three, right? Now... Pulling Gord is kind of bad for us because it prevents me from playing everything, but uh, that's fine. We'll know really quickly if we can get the round. I don't know if we can win the round, but as long as we can take it and just like get rid of some flutter opportunities, we should be all right. That on deploy feels pretty bad, doesn't it? I honestly believe... It, the thing is... It's Rebuke. It's gotta be a Rebuke. Because that's 7 point Rebuke off the bat. Well, 10 points if they have a Flutter. And then maybe we make them waste something else now too. You see, they're going for it. They're like, okay, we need to actually do something here. It's getting ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we just basically, boom, and we just take muzzle, right? So now they can't scope it. And they spent the leader charge. And they take a second leader charge here. We just we take a heat wave. <laughs> I think we're doing the right thing. And they take Oriana, and we take Leader. I'm telling you, Prism Pendant would be pretty interesting in this deck. Ah, you're going to use the last leader charge? Fine. Okay, minus three, right? So we go down to 11. So we can't just float this. We've got a... We can actually play Truffle. Or we could play Simlas. Simlas is probably better than Truffle here. Yeah, it's more carryover and there's more flexibility in what we do. And yeah, I think we go for this one to boost the gourd. And then... Realistically, it's this one. Yes. There we go. There we go. Leader for leader trade, we play them down to nothing in round two. Short round three, controlled Gord. Should be pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about, though, is obviously if they do have Regis. Because we took away the heat wave. Obviously, I can answer this with the spores. We have round one, which is fine. Maybe take Peller here. Um, I don't know if they're... I can't... Yeah, there's no reference... They might even be the, the Siri Nova, so we want to hold on to Peller. Uh, 
That's pretty big. You know, it's probably spores here. Because I want to save mine if they do take Golden Necker and do like a huge swing, if that's what they've got, then at least I can respond to it with, you know, our ring of favor. And if that's not the case, then we can get the extra draw, which I'm actually completely fine with, because um, we might get a gold. It's just something tells me that we should be saving Peller. That's all. You know what, actually? They're not they're probably not Siri Nova because um like we didn't see Roach come out. That's all. Okay. So what we'll do first is we'll get rid of the flutter with the squirrel next round. And just try to play them down. Yeah. Cause then if they take Incubus, it's not doing anything for them. Maybe they take Alp, actually. No, they can't. Because these are four. These are four, four, six. Here. Take that back. And I think I can actually take... I want to say I could put back Peller for now. Two techs in hands kind of... Eh, you know? And then we've got one and two. Okay, I'm doing all right. Here. I'm just going to focus on one thing at a time here. Carryover looks good to me. I'm trying to decide if it's... Um, you know, I, I was going to take Venadane, but I actually think Force Protector into a Bountiful to boost the Gord is better. Because we guarantee to boost the Gord if we just play the Pyrotech. Yeah, I'll take it. So heat waves out of the way. Good. We know they have Regis. Like, I gotta see Regis round two, I think. That's what we gotta do. We gotta get enough of a lead that they play it. Cause short round three, Regis is bad. Take a 50-50. Still better for us. Vector. One and two doesn't really work. This is actually the most points. Now, I might actually go and play one more. Okay. Unseen. Well, we can get rid of Unseen. One and two. Okay. That's what we'll do. We get the extra points off the protector as well. And then they might panic and quit. Or they'll panic and play something bigger. That's too slow. Play for six. Something tells me that we play, we play here. One, two, three... Yeah, something tells me that the last card's going to be the Regis, and then they just don't want to play it. So we'll, we'll just go here and get the card advantage. What? Let's go. 